Today we're doing Black Splash! Black Splash? I'm Sarah, and this is Travis. We've moved seven times in the last six years and are currently renovating our third house with our three boys and our old English sheepdog. Follow along as we renovate our house and raise our boys. That's him. Subscribe and join us on our next adventure. So we're doing some backsplash today in our kitchen. We bought like maybe six different kinds of backsplash and held it all up along here. And this is the one we settled on. And it is a uh, rock. I don't know what it is, actually. So it is white quarry interlock is what it's called. We just got it from Home Depot. The unique thing about this, if you can't tell from looking at this right here, is that it's really thin because it's peel and stick. So you just peel the back off, you just stick it on. No mortar, no, no grout, nothing needed. It just sticks on, ready to go. This is the first time we're using this product and it's been around a while in kind of the laminate and the, the real fake stuff. This is actually real rock and it's, and it's thicker than the other kind you typically see, but it is still just a stick on fake. Um, we're a little nervous that people aren't going to like this because it is faux, but you can't tell from looking at it that it's fake. It looks perfectly real and we just wanted to try it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you guys think, if this is a, a good product or a bad product to use. It was about 15 bucks a piece, which is the exact same price as the real stuff. I've just never tried it, always wanted to. You can't tell the difference when it's on the wall. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at it, see how it goes. Actually, let me give you guys some steps here real quick too. To prep your backsplash, your drywall, to stick this on, the first thing you have to do is it has to be perfectly flat and clean. And I just have some vinegar water that I'm gonna use to clean this off real quick and make sure there's no grease or anything on the wall. Then this should stick pretty well. Um, they recommend in the instructions to use a water and dish soap mixture to uh, spray on the wall just barely and then when you slip, stick this on it can kind of slide around you have a little bit of forgiveness before the water evaporates and then it hardens and i'm gonna do that because these i tried to fit these together down here and it fits super tight i'm honestly a little a little discouraged at how tight how hard it is to get those to interlink with each other but at least you won't see the seams like that okay so let's clean the walls and then cut this piece you can get a drink. Yes. We get a high I just went on a dirt bike ride, a, long, a super long dirt bike ride, so I'm going to let the world. We are on a dirt trail down by our house, and I was going down a really steep hill, and um, I had a flag on my back so people could see me, and, and then I hit a rock and a little, and my flag broke. You went, you went right over the front of your handlebars, huh? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I'm finally ready to put my first piece here. I just put a level on there, and I have to space up this side to be level with, with this side way over there. I have my spray. This is... I think it was a, a teaspoon of dish soap and water. And what you're supposed to do is peel this. Actually, let me test with this first. You're supposed to peel this off and then spray, lightly spray it said, with this dish soap water. And then mix it around. And the way it phrased it is that this would buy you a couple more seconds. Oh no! I wonder why it's not sticking. Maybe I sprayed too much. It does look pretty wet still. Let that dry for a second and I'll try again. Oh 
There it goes. Now it's sticking up there. Just a side note here, I ended up not using the spray on any of my other pieces because it made it not stick as good initially. I was just careful with how I laid it out. Oh! Looks good. I was really skeptical when Travis wanted to do this peel and stick backsplash. I was super worried that it was going to feel cheap or look cheap, but now that it's on, I'm really happy with it. I feel like it looks just like a tile backsplash would. And plus, it's been really nice because we're in the middle of winter and so we haven't had to wash the grout tools and all the mud stuff and everything, so it's been really convenient. I think we would definitely do this again on another project. Thanks for watching and if this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week.